to Bunches of Lunches. This week we were at Utah and we were at home. And we had lots of fun lunches. But before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. This week the shout outs go to Nancy and the Instagram shout outs go to Courtney and Fatima. Hi guys and happy Monday. Today we're at a theme park. We're at a park called Lagoon in Utah and it's really fun. But I wanted to bring our own lunches to save money. So for today I'm giving the kids half of a peanut butter and honey sandwich on some sprouted wheat bread. Also a drinkable yogurt in the strawberry flavor. They each have a string cheese, some carrot chips, and in this little container I have some ranch. I know Lily will be happy to see ranch. And then for our fruit today, I'm just gonna give the kids these little applesauce pouches. There's also blueberries and strawberries in there. They look really good. And then I also brought Griffin's lunch, of course. He's also having a drinkable yogurt, half of a peanut butter sandwich. He's having some brownie bars and maybe some of this applesauce. I'm not sure if he'll like that. So this theme park was really fun. They definitely let you bring your own lunch, which is excellent. So we just found these picnic tables and enjoyed our lunch. So we just finished lunch. The kids did pretty well, but I have to show you, there was something terrorizing them the whole time we were sitting over here. They were all pretty scared. Can you guys see that? It's a peacock. It came around the corner and it was like a foot away from Kenzie and she screamed. It was very shocking, but it didn't hurt us. His it was, name is Jordan the Peacock. Jordan the Peacock is way over there. He just wanted some of our lunch, I think. And after that, we checked out some fun rides. The kids went on the merry-go-round. You could tell she's excited. Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. Here's the lunch for today. I gave the kids each a Hawaiian roll with some chicken and some cheddar cheese, a chocolate pudding cup, that's definitely a fun treat. I have a little packet of mayo that they can put on their sandwich if they'd like to. I have some red grapes and some green grapes and lots of veggies, broccoli, carrots, and sugar snap peas. We also have some hummus and some really cute Mickey-shaped veggie chips. Let me show you these, they're really cute. I found them at Ross actually, which is kind of weird. And that's the lunch for today. So right now we're actually at a really fun park. So as soon as they're done eating, they get to go play. So here's how they did today. The chocolate pudding was quite messy and they do have quite a bit of leftover, so maybe they weren't so hungry today. Check out this really cool park, you guys. Everything is blue, and they also have a splash pad. The kids love to do the uh, Ninja Warrior course, as they call it. They start on one end of the playground and try to go all the way to the other end without touching the ground. Hi guys, it is a Wednesday now and we are back home. For our fruit today, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up a can of pineapple because that's what we have. And I'm gonna give the kids a lot of this. I know Lily especially will be happy to see the pineapple. To go along with our pineapple today, I'm also giving the kids some of these Korean style dumplings. We found these at Costco when we were in Utah and we just brought the rest back with us. So it's easy to just pan fry these up I'm also gonna give the kids some of this sweet chili sauce to go with it. I'm not sure if the kids will think it's too spicy, but I'm gonna offer it to them anyway. And this is what they were serving with the dumplings when we were in Costco. So the kids already tried it and they said that they liked it. For our vegetable today, we're gonna use up the last of our carrot chips. And I'm also gonna give the kids some ranch to dip in. Now to make this extra fun, I'm gonna give the kids their little training chopsticks to see if they can practice with their dumplings. I think it'll be a fun challenge. Oh yes, and the kids are just gonna drink water today. Now you can definitely tell that Lily loves the pineapple just like I thought she would. I'm not quite sure if she's gonna eat the dumplings. We'll have to wait and see. Surprise, surprise, Jackson likes the dumplings, but Griffin, he's just gonna have some cheese. A little bit of a struggle with the chopsticks, but not too bad. And here's how they did today. 
Jackson only ate about one and a half of his dumplings. And Lily only ate one as well. So not the best today. Hi guys and happy Thursday. Today I have sort of a different style themed lunch. It's an Ikea themed lunch. Starting with some Swedish meatballs with some really yummy noodles and a creamy sauce. To go along with this, I'm just gonna give the kids a little cup of banana flavored yogurt. This is not from Ikea, I just had it on hand. But I'm gonna give the kids a special granola type topping to go with their yogurt, and this is from Ikea. And I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I think it's muesli. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below how you pronounce it. But I'm just gonna give the kids a little container to top their yogurt. Over in this corner, I'm just gonna give the kids some sliced apples, a mixture of red and green. Now, of course, for our juice today, the kids are gonna have some lingonberry juice in these fun little boxes. I'm not quite sure if they'll like this, but we're gonna give it a try. And then, when I was at Ikea, I thought I was buying crackers and cookies, but it turns out these are both cookies. So we're just gonna open this one kind today, and these are really fun because they're letters. And then of course, I'm gonna serve this with my new Ikea spoons. That's the whole reason we went to Ikea in the first place, because I wanted to replace the kids' utensils. And Ikea has these really nice ones for a good deal. And today, we're just eating at home. Everyone's still pretty tired from our trip. We don't have any big plans today. So here's how Mackenzie did, not too bad. Lily did pretty much the same. Jackson ate everything, he really liked it. Hi guys, and welcome to Friday. Today I have a very 4th of July themed lunch. I'm gonna start with some toasted pieces of bread, and to these I'm gonna add a little dollop of the honey pecan cream cheese, so it's a little bit sweet, and I'm gonna spread it out. Next, I'm gonna to top this with some strawberry jam. I'm gonna spread the jam all over except for one corner. And in that corner, I'm going to add some blueberries. Next, I'm going to take a banana and make several slices, cut them in half, and then I'm gonna arrange them sort of like the red and white stripes on the flag. Super cute, I know the kids are going to love it. To go along with this, I'm gonna take some string cheese and sort of cube it up, and then I'm gonna add them to my really cute American flag toothpick, and I'm gonna alternate cheese, tomato, and cheese. So it's kind of like a red and white stripe theme as well. Now in this last corner, I'm gonna give the kids something that definitely makes me think of 4th of July, and that is corn dogs. I love corn dogs at summer festivals, but these are the mini ones, so I know the kids are going to love them. Now lastly, in this container, I'm just gonna give the kids some special 4th of July pretzels. They have lots of sprinkles, red, white, and blue. Super fun and really tasty. The kids are super excited about this lunch today, but we're gonna go ahead and eat it inside because outside, it's 99 degrees. Lunch, we have a fun 4th of July surprise! Now these were actually sent to us. If you've never seen these water balloons, they are awesome. You can fill up a ton all at once. Back in my day, it took forever to fill up water balloons. This is definitely way better. So the cool thing about this is the kids can actually slip and slide into the little pool of water balloons. It is so fun. Definitely a good way to cool off. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and come back next week for more fun lunches. See you next time.